Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 3.1 and problem number 3.7. A beam AB of length L is supported as shown in the figure and subjected to equal but opposite horizontal forces P at C and D as shown in the figure. Find the reactions at the supports A and B. That means there is a beam AB. Here I can find a hinged support, here I can find a roller support, but the roller support makes an angle alpha with the vertical. And it carries a member and this member is subjected to forces P and P. The distance between these two forces is equals to E. Now our interest is to find the reactions at A and B. Now hence it is a hinged support, so two reactions will develop, horizontal reaction and vertical reaction. And hence it is a roller support, a only one reaction will develop but the reaction is a perpendicular to this surface that means that makes an angle alpha with the vertical. Let the reactions at A are RAH and RAV. Let the reaction at B is RB which makes an angle alpha with the vertical. This RB reaction which makes an angle alpha with the vertical, I can resolve into two components, the horizontal component and the vertical component. And the vertical component becomes RB cos alpha because this makes an angle alpha with the vertical. Hence this vertical component is RB cos alpha and this is RB sin alpha. Now to satisfy the equilibrium, let us consider the equilibrium equation. The first equilibrium equation sigma fx is equal to 0. There are two forces that are acting along x-axis that is RAH. There are four forces that are acting along x-axis RAH, P, this P and RB sin alpha. I will consider this direction is my positive x-axis and this direction is my positive y-axis. Hence I can write RAH plus P minus P minus RB sin alpha is equal to 0, then I can say that RAH is equal to RB sin alpha. This is equation number 1. Let us consider the second equilibrium equation sigma Fy is equal to 0. That is RAV plus RB cos alpha is equal to 0. Hence, I can write equation RAV plus RB cos alpha is equal to 0. This is equation number 2. Now, I go to the third equilibrium equation that is the moment. The force P, I can take moment about any point. Let us consider that I will take the moment about point A. Now since RAH and RAV and also RB sin alpha, all these three forces are passing through the point A will not introduce any moment. Only this force P, this force P and RB cos alpha, only these three forces will introduce moment. So this RB cos alpha is at a distance of L, but this force P, how much distance is there from point A, it is not available and how much is this distance is also not available. But I know the distance between these two is A. So what I will do is, I will replace these two forces P and P, this force and this force, I will replace uh, with a couple of moment this P and this P like this and what is the magnitude force into distance P into A. Now I will take the moments about point A. So if I take the moments about point A, so this P, this P already replaced with a moment P A and RB cos alpha will introduce a moment in this direction and the distance is also known. Hence I can say P into A plus is equal to RB cos alpha into the distance L. Now I can find RB value which is P into A by L cos alpha which is one of the answer the given for the given problem. From equation 1 I can say RAH is equal to RB sin alpha. From equation 2 I can say RAV is equal to minus RB cos alpha. Now uh, since RAH and RAV is known I can find RA value. How can find RA? RA is equal to square root of RAH square plus R A V square that is the resultant force which is nothing but square root of R B sin alpha R B square sin square alpha plus R B square cos square alpha. So I can take R B square 
I can take outside and then I will get root of sin square plus cos r, cos square alpha, which is then I will get only r a is equal to r b. And that value is r b already I calculated p a by l cos alpha. So r b is equal to p a by l cos alpha. r b is also equals to p a by l, l cos alpha. But this r a v is I am getting negative. So this is the direction. And the resultant of r a h and r a v will act in this direction. So r b is acting in this direction. r a is acting in this direction. These two are opposite. Hence, r a value will be the negative value. Hence, I can say r a is equal to minus p a by l cos alpha is the, the second answer for the given problem.